one whose expertise is that. Mm -hmm. There's a gentleman called Neil Myers who's written a book called um, Gifted. Gifted a Primary Failing by Secretary. Get him on this show, get him to talk about his mm -hmm. book. People need to take their paper out of their pocket and buy that book because it's all aimed at parents who want to make sure that their children don't fail uh, when it comes to secondary. Basically, his advice is this. Uh, a secondary school child needs more support and more input than a primary school child. Whereas most parents think the reverse. They think that a secondary school child can look after themselves. They can't. They need more parental input, not less. And what Myers spells out is precisely what parental input there should be, how it should work, what your relationship should be with your teacher. And he also lays down a whole bunch of criteria, criteria shared by um, Tony Warner on the minimum a black parent should do for a secondary school child before they even begin complaining about the school not teaching their child. That's so good to me. Now let's look at yourself, my brother. Let's look at you now. You have, how many books have you got? Um, you have actually put your finger to and bring it into the market. Um, five. Five books. And the first one was? Um, Classical Splendor, Roots of Black History. Right. Um, give us some of the background why you wanted to go into that road um, to bring that forward. Because I, I think I've only got one of your books so far, I'm sorry to say, but I've only got one of your books. But tell us about the first one that you've actually brought forward. Classical Splendor, Roots of Black History was based on the lectures that I had written based on teaching what was originally Dr. Femi Biko's course. And putting the lectures together, one of the things that we covered was the origins of the human race. A second area that we covered were the ancient Egyptians and why they were important. Other areas that we covered is the West African empires of Ghana, Mali and Songhai. Another area we covered is the North African civilizations of Carthage and Numidia. Another area we covered was the East African civilizations of Kush, the Swahili coast, um, and medieval Nubia. Another area that we covered is the South African civilizations of Great Zimbabwe and Mulumutapa. So I wanted to put all that together in one book and basically keep it short, keep it simple, and point people, once you've read my book, what you should read next to develop yourself and grow. I'm not a Christian, I'm a spiritual person, and so I'm not really one that goes into the Bible in depth. Mm -hmm. I will discuss it from what the little knowledge that I know, but I don't go deep into the Bible. Yeah. Um, one of my colleagues, um, you know, we're having deep um, discussion about the Bible. What is the origin of the human race on the face of this planet? Um, the oldest human skeleton there is, is 195,000 years old and was found in Ethiopia at a site called Omo. And the scholars call that skeleton the man from Kibish, K-I-B-I-S-H, 195,000 years old. Yeah. The next oldest set of skeletons were found in different East African sites, Omo in Ethiopia again, uh, Leitoli in Kenya, Classy's River Mouth. A river mouth in South Africa and border cave in South Africa. And these skeletons are between 110 and 130,000 years old. Yeah? So if we're dealing then with the bones, 195,000 years. That's one way of doing the research. Second way of doing the research is doing something called mitochondrial DNA, which is just like you can work out parents and children, who's the parents and who's the child by looking at DNA. You can then look at who's the parent population and who's the children population. And people who've done that, Rebecca L. Kahn, who's a professor of genetics at the University of Berkeley, did a, a paper in 1987 where she suggested that all human beings are traceable back to a parent African population. And that African population uh, goes back 200,000 years. Mm -hmm. Yes. There are two schools of thought when it comes on to how the human race came about. There's the monogenesis, which is what he's just speaking about. But what would you say about those who say that it's polygenesis, that different races came about at different times? Yeah, there's two problems with that. The first thing is Europeans have to explain why they got African mitochondrial DNA. Asians, and by Asians I mean yellow people, are going to have to explain why they've got African mitochondrial DNA. Yeah? The fact that they've got African mitochondrial DNA means that it's not 
polycentrism, it's monocentrism. Now, I'm aware that the polycentrists did exist, but my view is, provided we know the truth, mm -hmm. let them say what they like. You know? And if they want to claim alien origins, let them claim alien origins. We have to deal with what's scientifically verifiable. Hmm. But Sean? Yeah, my question that I'd like to ask is, as a young parent myself, um, as somebody I feel has been through the British education system, and, and overcome the challenges that come along with going for that British education system. You mentioned earlier that it's a training. That's right, it's yeah. not education. Mm -hmm. I, I totally agree to, 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 to that uh, statement. What do you think we ought to be doing as young parents, as um, people in the community? You spoke about your course. How can we scale that up? How can we as a community work to bring what you're doing further to the fore of everybody mm -hmm. in the community? That's two separate questions. Yeah, several questions. Okay, the first one being about the parents. What you guys need to do is book Neil Myers and get him coming here to chat about come here, what really. you need to be doing. Here, yeah. Because he's the person, he's got that expertise, he's written on it. You follow me? He's a team. Huh? It's gone already. You come already, yeah. Well, there it is. Book. That's the guy, Neil we'll Myers. Plug his book. We're, yeah? We've been plugging his book. Yeah. And I've got nothing more to add to that, in truth. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I could repeat what he said, but that's all I'm doing, just repeating what he said. As far as um, taking the Black Studies thing forward, my whole thing is, is that um, uh, people want to study with me, I'm available, uh, uh, write to me. It's, uh, my um, email is theblackhistoryman at yahoo.com. Um, and I'm going to be writing courses. And certainly that's the first step towards moving this thing forward.